Fly! Downstairs. <gasps> How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. Ah, yes. It's Friday, October 11th. Wow, this month is going fast. It's Friday and um, a sister, a sis, one of my sisters lives here. One of my sisters from Oregon is traveled over sorry, here. I have another sister in Wyoming. We haven't <laughs> found out where, what's wrong with where is she? And uh, uh, the sister traveled in from Oregon, brought her uh, daughter and uh, my brother and her his wife. Why are you asking? Are over here from Texas, and they are now on the North Shore <gasps> with my brother, who lives on the North Shore. Got that? <laughs> So it's actually look a little bit calm right now. I have uh, two sisters and, and my sister's daughter here. And so it's all for my mother's birthday on Sunday, but it's also my sister's birthday, my other sister's birthday, and my brother and his wife's anniversary. So anniversary, brother, uh, sister, uh, uh, birthday, 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 anniversary. Did you get that straight? Yeah. And uh, she's- I can see you. I can see you too. Ghost, ghost back and uh, ghost tube, yeah. Gonna have some fun for Halloween. It's a. <laughs> I always do this, this background uh, spooky. Uh, sp I had a low grade fever last night. I don't know what. I think something came up, but I think I'm okay now. But anyways, I gotta keep it happening. It's Friday. I gotta do this stuff. It's Friday. So, um, yeah, Donald Trump and his. Campaigning has gotten stupid if it is stupider. So it's kind of stupider because, okay, so what, well, one thing is Donald Trump, after he was no longer president, but they still say president because it's just a formality, ex president, he, he gives phone calls, seven, seven phone calls to Vladimir Putin. After he's no longer president, he's talking to Putin. Can you believe that? What's he talking to Putin for? Who's Trump talking to Putin? So, and this is like, you know, yes. Ukraine being invaded? 98.7. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. And so, Vladimir Putin's getting phone calls from Trump. What? Oh, and what? And so, um... <clears throat> And also, he, uh, his, 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 this is just dumb. This is like, I don't know, last minute stuff. Which it's just, they're not. I think Trump just uh, uh, riffs. He just makes it up as he goes, like stream of consciousness. <laughs> you, you know, like uh, like a podcast. She's not here. Podcast, and there's two people talking, and they get this little element, element of a topic. Terrible. Okay. They give an element of a topic, and then it's like going off, and everything they can possibly think of that just crosses their mind, like, it was the first word you think of, and then there's, blah, blah, that's Trump on the podium in front of people, even in the presidential, anyways, so Trump's at the podium, he's campaigning, this is just recent, and he says, you know, like that comparison, don't Drink Coke, not Pepsi, because Pepsi tastes bad. Don't vote for Kamala Harris, because if you do, things will be terrible. Terrible. <laughs> terrible. But a disaster. A disaster. So if you vote for Kamala Harris, it'll be a disaster. It'll be so bad, because he likes to do economics and immigration, the border policy. So the immigrants are horrible and economics oh the prices are still actually the uh inflation uh index is like 2.4 percent which is like damn good it hasn't been this good for like three and a half years or something like two and a half years three years 
It's really actually good, but the prices are going to reflect. It's it's actually the economy is doing good, but shh, because that's not good for votes. <laughs> It's gonna be so bad. The economy is gonna be so bad. It'll be, it'll be like, uh, like, like, like that S country. No, no. It'll be like uh, Detroit. It'll be so bad. It'll get bad. It'll be like Detroit. Cause he's thinking about Flint, Michigan falling apart. It'll be like Detroit. Ooh, Detroit. Oh, the economy's gonna be like Detroit. Ugh. And here's the cuckoo kicker: is that he's talking to an economic conference in Detroit, Michigan. So he slams Detroit, Michigan economy in, I don't know, maybe that was, he thought that was strategy. <sighs> this is take two, by the way. I had a whole take that had no audio. I don't know, this microphone, it's plug, it's sensitive. <laughs> let's, let's go look at uh, uh, the news. There's news in Hawaii too, look, news. Oh. They're bringing up a 30-year-old uh, murder case on the Big Island. This little girl, this girl, uh, young lady, Ireland, was ran over by three guys in a touch you. three guys in a Volkswagen bus on the Big Please Island. Please go. And they assaulted her after she was after they ran, they ran her off the road in order to assault her. It was a horrible, horrible case. So two guys stood around, I guess, and uh, well, one guy, they all three were convicted and they went to prison. Now two of them, I think, the ones who were quote standing around said that they were uh, unlawfully, they were innocent and unlawfully um, convicted. So that's why this is. But the stupid thing about this is they're asking for $50,000 per year back pay recompensation for being unlawfully imprisoned. 50 grand a year. So 30 years times 50 grand. Um, <laughs> you gotta prove you're innocent. And they're hanging around. No, you're not innocent. So that's like lame. <clears throat> Hope like, hopefully they don't do it. The aftermath of Milton the Monster Storm. It was so huge that it's, it's amazing. They are finally finding some people that were actually killed. 11 people. And that's a surprisingly low number. Maybe they were just prepared. Maybe they just got the hell out of there. Because it was a nasty. Probably, maybe it's because it was a lot of. Uh, surge, double the surge, so so double the flood level, and maybe that was a, a thing that got people out of there. Or, anyways, it's horrible, horrible, Milton. Okay, that's a freaking record book run in the sports. Why do you volleyball? See, and uh, Molokai Canoe Crossing. By the way, it's Molokai, not Molokai. I want to talk. I didn't know either, but I heard it from people. In living on Molokai, it's Molokai. So now you know Molokai, not Molokai. Molokai, canoe, see, canoe. And how do I go that way? <laughs> Where am I? Oh, just relax. Jeez. We're back in the day. Everything's cool back in the day. Remember I told him. 1969, that's back in the day. You just go out there, you want to relax, just take the fishing pole. Get the first board, go out and the, and the point, hey, look at the... I'm scared. <laughs> scooters and boats and sails and new yacht and container ship, what the mats in going. Okay, on Sunday afternoon, fisherman trying his luck, surfer riding a wave, back cruise ship, Californian and mats in container ship covering, converge. So it's a container ship and a cruise ship and all these boats. Let's be in the harbor! And they all smashed and clogged up the harbor. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Perhaps a little finger on the pulse. Yeah. Oh, babe. Oh, what's this? I didn't see this one. Uh, the Why Akea Pirates were founded in 1923 by Nobu Mashumara Picture here left with Babe Ruth in 1933 in Hilo. So Babe Ruth was in Hilo. Oh, cool. Hey. It's the babe. <laughs> cool. I, oh. Test. But we're going finger on the pulse. Ooh. Poker cartoon. It's a lie. I had multiple phone calls with Putin after my presidency ended. The number you have dialed is I not in service at this time. A phone. <laughs> oh, gosh. He's a puppet and puppet. And he's got the little pointy ears, Putin. What year is it? <laughs> so I, what was that? The hammer and sickle cup. What year is it? It's 2024. Can you believe it? 
So we just go over here, get one of these things here. We did a let's just do this one, I guess. Dictator cannot lead beacon of democracy. Election day is fast approaching. Oh, not the bells of Saint Mario. Okay, election day is fast approaching, and two presidents. Oh, come on. <laughs> Presidential candidates are neck and neck in various polls. There are myriad factors to consider before casting votes, and among them, priority should be given to preserving the democracy that is the very backbone of American prosperity and prestige. Kamala Harris has advocated for democracy. <laughs> it's a sin. Throughout her political career, Donald Trump, on the contrary, often expresses his aspirations for becoming a strong man like those dictators in China, Russia, North Korea, and Hungary. Are we going to give a chance for a sitting vice president with limited political achievement? Hmm? Or are we going to give the Oval Office back to the aging wannabe dictator and convicted felon? Hmm. Opinions do vary, as they should in democracy. However, there is one fundamental principle every voter should heed. The world's beacon of democracy cannot have a dictator as its leader, even for a single day. Kyung Nak Min. Kapule. Kyung Nak Min? Uh, okay, with a name like Kyung Nak. <laughs> is that Kyung Nak or is it Yang Nak? Yang Nak. Let's not go there. Long not Kim, thank you for your contribution and your letter to the editor. Uh, I, I it was just kind of like, uh, which I was, I guess you're for um, Kamala there, you know, we don't want the dick, or just not again, not for Trump. We don't want the, not even for a single day. But you, you got Kamala with the uh, aspirations, oh, no, 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 that's for the uh, limited, limited power. A limited political achievement? But I don't understand, but there it is. Johnny. It's Friday, and I got a rip going, and this is take two. So, have a happy Friday. Have an Aloha Friday. It's not Aloha Friday, technically, but uh, just to get this going. Okay, ready, set, okay. Aloha. Aloha to Friday. Aloha to you. It's Friday. Oh, look, it's going to be nice, huh? Look, uh, sir, cloudy. Sun, cloudy. Oh, I don't know.